What's going on guys, it's Death Monk here. Today we're going to be talking about some rather interesting little updates that have happened over the most recent uh, patch that's recently just gone live earlier on today. Now you will notice I'm actually using the um, one of the new skins that's available right now in the item shop. Make sure you guys use code DeathMonk992. I thoroughly appreciate that as a support for creator. Now you will notice once you log into Fortnite, there's actually some new challenges to complete. Now, I've actually managed to co complete a couple of these. Uh, one of them is to look, uh, make your way down to like five different towers, which are dotted around the Citadel. Uh, and you will notice that you have to hit the, what's called the nape of different Titan targets, Titan targets, I beg your pardon, with ODM gear attacks. Now, the ODM gear, as well as the... Thunder Spear are all found in Scout Regiment Foot Lockers. Now these are very small chests. Uh, they're all smaller but wider than the standard chests. And I believe I'm not mistaken, I think they're all available around this area if I'm not mistaken. So I haven't come across any outside this area as of yet. Um, I'm just before, I'm just going to hover just for the moment, just so I can explain another thing I've come across to you guys before I make my way down to the map. You will notice uh, if you make your way down into uh, the zero points location, which I believe, is not mistaken, is somewhere in this vicinity down here. Uh, hang on, let me just get the right location there for you guys. Uh, it's down here. Now, if you make your way down to that location, around in that location, you will notice that there is some earthquakes or fissures so basically breaks in the earth if that makes sense um we don't know why these fishes the obvious oh, fishes slash earthquakes appeared um but let me know what you guys thought of that in the comments box down below also um there are two of these sets of obelisks spears um around the map there's one right here, which I'm about to land at right now. I think there's another set at the uh, snowy biome. Now, if it do happen to land in that location, possibly in the next game, I'll let you guys know what that's all about. But um, that's really interesting. But we'll have to see where the uh, zone takes us here. Now, I haven't come across any of those brand new chests yet. But um, if I do manage to come across one, guys, you will notice that there is some new loot. Now, I don't know, like I said, also don't know if it, these... Oh. Okay. So, they've got the highest explosive ARs. Wow, is it really that cheap? Thank you. Um, I was expected to be a little more expensive than that. <laughs> Shout out to that NPC. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so... I was not expecting it to be that cheap from the uh, NPC, but uh, I'll take it. Okay, give me all of that. Grab all of that. Take that as well. And if I, actually, I'll just quickly. Hang on, so if I purchase one of them, does that make the other two expensive? No. Oh, this should be. <laughs> this seems a bit of overkill here, guys. But uh, oops, get rid of that. Um, and I'll take that as well. Thank you. Thank you, my thank you, my good friend. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way over to a certain location. I'll see if um, if the game treats me fairly. What we need to do is I'm going to show you a little, just a little new area in Anvil Square. Now, if you make your way... Oh, jeez. Someone's already got it. Right, somebody's already got it, so I have to be careful here. But if you make your way down to more or less this location at Anvil Square, you will notice there's like a little downstairs area. And this is um, Jaeger's family basement. So this is the themed area for uh, this collaboration. You can, you can probably hear that uh, enemies resting around here with the uh, new mythic gear. Uh oh. That could be him now. Come on. You gonna push me or not? 
No. No, he's on the uh, flag. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let your kid beat it. Right, somebody's over there, so I have to be careful now. I think you probably will have heard that. Hopefully that scared him. Um, but you will notice there's you'll notice the odd looking exclamation mark up here on your screen. Now this, you only can do with the uh, new mythics. Now you're basically, one of the chances is to, to knock these things off their uh, post, if you will. There's those near, that near question. Near chance I was talking to you guys about. Oh, hey, chill, bro. Right, I'm, I'm going to challenge this guy. He's asked for it. He's got to get it. See you later, pal. Now, hopefully that's the guy. Yes, it is. With the new mythics. Hopefully this probably no douchebag's gonna take this away from me. Uh oh. Yes there is. Fly away. Let's fly away. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm just gonna get myself into a safe haven before I get myself shot in the back. I just wanna make sure I don't wanna get myself killed. Now just show you, let's show you this now guys. Armed drone locks are designed to penetrate armor structures and deliver powerful explosives via wire activated fuse. Audimium gear, omnidirectional mobility gear, allows you to fight in a 3D space, attach to the environment to soar through the air, or hold ADS to hover and attack enemies with your blades. So, now bear in mind, the uh, missiles is, um, what's the worm searching for here? Limited amount of shots. Now I'm going to see if... Hang on, where the hell am I on the map now? Right, I'm going to see if I can make my way over to that location where the fishes are, hopefully. I'll have to double check what the range is on this. Yikes. Ah, here we go. Oh no. Yikes! Yikes. I think he knows where I am now. Yeah, of course he does. Right, um, so... As you guys just saw, that's what basically you can do with these uh, specific weapons. Your DM gear, you can like, fly around the map with it. Um, the rocket launches, which I think you guys just noticed. Is he going to pick it up? No. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do. And you will notice those that little stand right there where that guy is looking at just there. All you need to do is fire at that using the ODM gear, which hopefully this guy's going to do now. More or less like that. So basically, that's simple and straightforward. So thank you, my good friend there, for demonstrating. Now I'm just going to go back to the lobby here, guys. I uh, just want to show you this brand new update. Uh, on, as far as the map's concerned. Now, most of you guys will probably know, not be aware of the majority of these changes. Now, I'm just going to go into um, replay mode for this. Um, so, the Jaeger's family basement, you have to... I, I think that gives you a certain item, which I believe is the back bling, which of course resembles a key. Um, that you guys are currently seeing on, this, uh, on my uh, back right here. Now, I'm just going to skip forward a little bit here. Hopefully, the game's going to be quick enough to actually let me go into a match. Now, I can't remember how long I stood here for. There we go. Now, I'm just going to, when I do eventually jump out of the map. Now, hopefully, oops, not that. Um, come on. Now, I'm just going to go back down. 
put this back in free drone mode. Now, I don't know why it keeps putting me outside the map. I don't want to be outside the map again. Oh, well. Um, but anyway, there's like different uh, pieces of gear that you can unlock uh, for doing these challenges. Uh, there's like a loading screen. There's a spray, the back bling, which you guys just saw a moment ago. There's an emote. Um, there's different like emoticons, wrap banner icons, the Evan Jaeger outfit. Uh, whether you're on the battle pass or not, completing upcoming week five quests, touching your thunder spear, I can't speak now, thunder spear skills to unlock the courageous Picasso spray, and complete the first up the upcoming trigger happy trials to unlock the scowling Levi emoticon. Now, um, the Captain Levi outfit and black bling, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is in the item shop, as well as the Mikasa Ackerman outfit and back bling. Now, that's really interesting there. Dirt bikes have been unvaulted. You'd be glad to know. Now, just before I show you these uh, fishes I was talking to you guys about, I just want to bring your attention. I'm just going to make my way over to the snowy biome here. Now, just to the northwest of Brutal Bastion, as you guys, you, you may have noticed um, earlier on in this video, I showed you that other set of obelisks just to the uh, south of the citadel. I'm going to show you quickly the other set that I didn't get to show you in that gameplay I've just um, been playing in. But if you make your way down to this location, just to the southwest of this little building right here, you will notice that there's another set of obelisks right here. Now, there's no audio coming from this, unfortunately, but um, that's really interesting there. Now, I'm just going to show you these fissures um, I was about to explain to you guys about before I got suddenly rudely interrupted by those uh, enemies. If you make your way down to where the zero point is located, which is this location right here, I'm going to come back to that location in a moment, but um, you will notice if you look very carefully, I think it'll look better if, uh, if you look down from above, but you will notice there's like these rather interesting lines inside the dirt. Now, we believe at this present moment in time, this could potentially be related to the live vent, but um, you will notice that we've actually seen this kind of break in the ground before, back in Chapter 1. Now, if you think all the way back to Chapter 1, there was earthquakes, which I think led up to the destruction of Tilt's Towers after the um, eruption of the uh, volcano. Now, we believe history may be repeating itself fairly soon. As a result of the uh, as a result of the upcoming live event, as per the recent challenges involving thunder. Now, if you remember back in this week's challenges or this past week's challenges, you did refer to an eruption of the um, mountain to the east of Mega City, which is over that way. So that's really interesting. Um, I think there's a fair few sets of these, so I'm just going to see if I can. Take my time and see if I can locate them again. But um, you got this, as you guys can see, we've got those set, that set right there. Not sure what happened to my screen just then. Uh, there's another set over here, which is rather interesting to take note of. Um, there's also just a few more fishes, earthquakes, whatever you like to call them, right here, just to the um, on the outskirts of the mega area, the mega biome. Now I'm just going to elevate myself a little bit here. As you guys can see, there's, an, there's another lovely good shot of these uh, fishes that are randomly happening. Now, we don't know if this is happening mid-match or just a result of the update, but um, that's really interesting to take note of. Um, in some of these fishes, you will notice there's a few chests, like this one right here. Now, like I say, guys, we don't know exactly what these fishes are doing. All that we do know is we believe that this present moment in time is coming from the zero point. So, it's really interesting to take note of. We'll have to see how uh, this evolves over the next few weeks, coming up to the next season. Now, I believe the next season, if I'm not mistaken, I think is in, like, June. But um, we can expect some sort of live event to be happening much sooner than that, from what we understand. So... Let's take a listen to this zero point audio, see if we can make anything out of this.
Okay, guys, so that's really interesting to take note of. Uh, also, for those who don't know, there's also a rare version of the Kinetic Blade. Now, this, I believe, can be in floor loot. Uh, has identical damage to the Epic counterpart. Uh, the rare counterpart only has two Kinetic Dash charges instead of three. Um, rare Kinetic Blade can be found from the ground and Kinetic Blade stands, as usual. Um, what else did I to tell you guys? The max headshot damage of the Mythic Havoc Pump Shotgun has been reduced, as has the accuracy and hit by a rate of the Mythic Overclocked, overclocked Pulse Rifle. In trios and squads, reduce the number of Mythic Overclocked Pulse Rifles dropped by capturing a rifting in POI. And in trios and squads, reduce the number of Mythic Havoc Pump Shotguns found inside vaults. So, for those who don't know, I mentioned about an eruption earlier on in this video. This it's most likely going to be taking part around this mountain here to the east of Mega City. Now, we believe at this present moment in time that there's a main antagonist NPC, which I think, if not mistaken, let me get this right way around. Uh, hang on, which direction am I looking at here? That way. So, I think it's around, hangs around this little um, building right here, just to the south of this mountain. And I think there's another NPC that you can find right here, but I don't think it's in relation to the storyline. But um, that's really interesting to take note of. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments box down below. Don't forget to also be expecting to have this character, this dragon, which appears to be, which appears to breathe fire um, every so often, every time the ring closes. Maybe somewhat involved during the live event. But let me know what you guys thought of him in the comments box down below. Now. One final thing I want to tell you guys is all the way over here at uh, Slappy Shores is if you take attention to Mega City, you'll notice there's like different rails that appears in that uh, NPC. Well, lo and behold, Slappy Shores also has them as well. So another neat little addition to Slappy Shores. Again, let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments box down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Uh, but... I'm expecting loads of big things to be coming in for this season of Fortnite. Again, let me know what you guys thought of in the comments box down below. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you upload. And if you do decide to buy anything in the item shop, use code DEATHMONK992 in the item shop. I'd thoroughly appreciate that. Um, make sure you guys thumbs up the video, like, uh, drop a like, hit the notification bell so you upload. As you guys can see, Mikasa and Levi are both in the item shop as per... Uh, the item shop, of course. Just going to quickly show you guys each of these different uh, skins that you can expect to wear. Um, and as well as their back blings, loading screens, yada yada yada, etc, etc. So we've got various different items to unlock. Looks really cool. Thunder Spear Flyer, as well as the Three different emoticons, including the Titan Run Rush, Rampage, and Freestyle, which is the one I was using in that uh, gameplay earlier. So, looks really cool, guys. Like I said, guys, use the code for Deathmark992 in the item shop as a supporter creator. Thoroughly appreciate it. Until the next episode, peace out. And just a quick little look as to where I'm coming up with my challenges. The Scout Regiment Foot Lockers, I think, will be around the um, yellow area of the biome. Uh, the neighbor different Titan targets are pretty much what that uh, enemy who killed me was trying to do. It's pretty much what you have to do with that. Hit opponents with ODM gear attacks or a Thunder Spear. Destroy structures with the Thunder Spear, which is that um, explosive rocket item. And damage opponents while airborne. Pretty much self and straightforward. Um, I think there are a few seasonal challenges. Uh, quite simple ones, landing on a ground rail after jumping from the bus, pretty straightforward. Effect Nightmare weapon while sliding, again straightforward. Travel distance using the Kinetic Blade dash attack, again straightforward. Damage opponents with different types of shotguns and damage opponents with consecutive shots using the Thunder Spear. So, again, let me know what you guys thoughts are and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.